Please tell us what was the sickness in your body that you were dealing with and where you are at today. Um, well, this was 2011-2012. Uh, I woke up and I had a lump on my rest bre right breast. Oh man, I'm gonna choke up. Okay. It's okay, give her, give her a hand of applause, you guys. It takes a lot to come up here. You're awesome, come on. So um, I woke up, didn't think much of it. You know, I'm young. I am in my 20s, and so I didn't think much of it. I'm thinking it's a growth. Hey, thank you, Jesus. I'm getting bigger. We're good. <laughs> but it started swelling up. It started um, it, it, like an orange peel and just pain, excruciating pain. And then I went to the doctor, and they had no idea what it was. So... Um, it did mimic some cancer, and I had a two-year-old at the time. And, you know, I had to go to the surgeries and medications. And just like what Alexander said, they gave you so much so you can cope with, but they didn't have a reason why you got it, how to heal it. And um, so I was going through all these surgeries and biopsies, and they would never close the wound. And I'm telling you, this thing was massive. Like, they would cut in holes, and they would stuff gauze and um, tubes. And so every day, it was like three times a day where they would have to take these things out. My husband would have to do it. Man, he was such a trooper. And I would yell because I was in pain. I was so scared that my neighbors would be calling the cops, thinking my husband's beating me because it's so painful. And at that time, I couldn't hug my toddler. Um, he couldn't come near me. I couldn't go out in public. I was too tired. I was exhausted. Um, medications would just make me fall asleep. And there was no healing. The doctor said I had. So what they named it was idiopathic. And if you know what, I mean, I'm not sure if anybody knows that, but that is unknown cause. They don't know what it is. There is no healing. There is nothing. Just take um, all these medications and steroids. And so my body's out of control. And at that point, I feel like I'm giving up hope. I'm giving up life. I am done. Um, so the doctor just said, you, you need to remove the entire breast. You need to remove it. And I said, no, I'm not going to do it. I came to church. I was coming to church. I was believing because this was 11, 12. And, you know, for some time, it was kind of just... I guess in remission. And then again, I gave birth in 2014. And a month after I gave birth, they came back. So I had to get other surgeries again. But this time, I knew my God was bigger than any doctor. You know, I knew that I wasn't going to go through all that pain alone anymore. I had my church family. I had my friends, I had my family that they were praying for me. They weren't giving up on me. And I wasn't giving up on myself. Um, so I did, I came to prayer line. And I believed that I was going to be healed. And like Pastor said, I didn't believe in any of the prophesying. I believed my God. I believed that he was the doctors of all doctors. And I was going to be healed. And I was. Um, three months into it, I was completely healed. And it's been four years, four years, and I am completely healed. Give God some glory. Give God the praise and all the honor. This is our God. I want everybody just to get on up and just let's go into praise and worship, thanking our God for all that He has done. And Myra, as you're up here, just as the worship team gets ready, what would be your words of encouragement for those that are expecting today? I knew I was in a... In a, in a big hole, deep hole, where I felt I was alone, and I wanted to give up on life. I, it was easier for me to give up than to fight through. So if anybody's going through anything, whether it be physical or, or mental or anything, you need to fight through. You are not alone. You have every single one of us that is praying for you, and we are coming against it, and you will be healed. Amen. So don't, don't give up. You have to have faith. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching this content. I know this was a blessing to you. We would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something, you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family. 
and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough, the best is yet to come.